A shares preliminary findings from its investigation into the small plane crash at RDU Airport. It was breaking news at this time yesterday when that plane crashed right near Terminal 1, injuring two people on board. WRL Sean Gallagher is back at RDU today and joins us live now. And Sean, the FAA confirmed what happened when the pylon was trying to land. Yeah, that's right, Renee and Jeff. Again, this report, very limited since it is preliminary, but it says they believe that the pilot and the aircraft bounced off the runway as they were attempting to make that landing here. Now, that plane was towed over here last night around 530. You can still see it. It appears it's being towed to another place again, this time likely headed to Delaware for a more thorough investigation by the NTSB. UNC Air Operations say they're pausing flights while they work with federal investigators to analyze the cause of this crash. Now, that preliminary report says the pilot was attempting to land on the smallest of three runways here at RDU around 10 a.m. yesterday. The pilot and a UNC physician were returning to Raleigh after a flight to Wilmington. Now, while it'll likely take more than a year for the NTSB to complete its investigation to fully understand what happened, aviation expert Jim Krause says there are a number of things that could have caused the airplane to bounce on the runway. You could have an unforecast downdraft. You could have some... Uh, weather phenomenon that helped the pilot to get in this situation. But unfortunately, most frequently, it's a pilot mistake that causes this. Now, that pilot, Art Johnson, WRAL News, has learned he is still in fair condition, but there's optimism he will make a full recovery. And then that UNC physician, Dr. Paul Chelminski, he had minor injuries but was able to return back home yesterday, Renee. Very encouraging news on uh, the people involved in that plane crash. Sean Gallagher, live out at RDU.